Law Warrior Armor, The Beagle. Overview. The development of the Beagle active probe gave Battlemechs an even greater advantage over vehicles and infantry. Not only were the other branches overmatched by the mech, they also had nowhere to hide from this sophisticated sensor system. In 2666, the Star League Quartermaster Command authorised a contract with Numal Armoured Vehicles for a construction of the Beagle Hover Scout. The Beagle's main function was to carry the active probe into combat to give a tank or hover unit better information. The hover vehicle was completed within 12 months, and soon deployed widely. After the initial shipments, however, crews discovered a malfunction in the turret ring. Quickly reversing the turret's direction caused it to lock, freezing the medium laser and sensor wand. Field repairs proved impossible, and normal armoured weapons on New Earth recalled the entire batch. Factory repairs often took as long as the original construction, and many tank units forgot to return their beagles for adjustments. Though almost every SLDF tank unit has a beagle, more than half of the original version and therefore subject to jamming their turrets. As an editor's note, the beagle remained prone to breakdown and the vehicle disappeared during the First Succession War. More from mechanical difficulty than actual battlefield casualty. Capabilities. Once the malfunction in the turret was corrected, the Beagle became an effective military vehicle. Never intended for any heavy combat, its weapons were designed to discourage close inspection and provide the crew with an opportunity to escape. The design concept intended that the Beagle would be able to identify any enemy and flee before facing return fire. In practice, however, a Beagle must often weather a sustained barrage after closing to gather information about the enemy. Though the Beagle carries three and one half tons of ferrofibrous plating, the armour provides only partial protection. With its speed, the Beagle is an elusive target that can usually make good its escape after completing its task. Almost every tank and hover company has one Beagle attached as a support vehicle. A directional wand housed in the turret carries the sensors for the active probe. The Abadovi Mark II medium lasers that links directly to the active probe is noted for its accuracy. The Beagle mounts a Exostar 2C small laser to deal with any closing infantry. There we go with the outro uh, thing. It's uh, me again. <laughs> it's me at the end of the lore. Is I'm enjoying these. I'm doing all these in one day. 15 tons. Made by a power plant of a Nissan 95. There we go. A little Japanese engineering there. Yeah, uh, interesting. Uh, it actually looks more like a, like a full-on combat tank. You see the artwork there. Uh, but uh, obviously it really wasn't. Uh, it had uh, a whole 15 points of armour on the front, which as soon as you went through that, boom, internal, dead. And you can imagine, that's only three medium laser hits to the front. That's it, tank taken out. You know, most mechs have at least three medium lasers. And hell, if you hit it in the back, two medium lasers, it's dead. AC-10, boom, straight through. That's all you need. But again, it's pretty fast, 12 and 8, uh, which is uh, nearly 200 kph if it's flat out, 130 if it's cruising. So, uh, yeah, one medium, one small laser. You see, a load of these tanks would be really useful in games like Living Legends, even, or um, or MWO, if I ever bothered with it. Yeah, look, look, Roll Warfare. See this? This this beagle here? Roll Warfare. Right there. Oh, well. See you next time. Bye-bye.